Good afternoon again, Hoop fans, and welcome to the number one running Hoop Talk show for the UPRHS Alumni League, Hoop Talk. And for the last Saturday semis match, the RHS 05 Boleros soon passed MR87, thus booking the first final seat. The first game of the afternoon pitted the young run and gun team of the RHS 05 Boleros against the experienced veteran team of MR87. The match started close as both teams tried to battle it out early in the shaded lane. 05 came in with the surprise starter Jonathan Sesusmenye, a 6'2 beanpole who sprung in two consecutive medium-range jumpers to give 05 the early lead. On the other hand, 87 tried to run the break as Juancho the Macho Rodil led his team in the early goings. The first quarter ended with 05 leading by 2 though, 17-15. Coming into the second half, it was still a tight one as Rodil continued to lead the break for 87. As for 05, Gio Evangelista led the charge for the run and gun team. A key point in this quarter was Bolero's guard Aging Escala, drawing the third personal foul of main man Ney Montemayor of 87. The second canto ended at 27-24 still for the Boleros. The second half started with 87 not starting Montemayor due to foul trouble. Jojo the Brown Mamba Francisco decided to push the tempo as he lit it up the scoreboard and got his teammates involved in scoring. Josh Miranda joined Francisco and Evangelista as the trio ignited a 7-0 run to up their lead to 10, 43-33 ending the third quarter. Moving into the fourth, it was still Rodil carrying the cudgels for 87. Supporting him was spot-up shooter Rodel Tamizin. Neyman Tomer still could not find his mark in this game as he shot poorly from the field. For the Boleros, their run and gun style and triangle, triangle offense clicked in this game. Sensing time was on their side, 05 slowed down the pace. Center Josh Moran, Miranda burned the hoops as he was the recipient of nifty passes from Francisco and guard Aging Escala. Miranda top scored 10 points in this quarter to lead his team for the W. 05 does book the first ever final seat in the inaugural season of the Triple B League carving out a 65-46 win over MR87. And that concludes my report for the first semis match last Saturday. Again, this has been Top Juliano for Hoop Tops, the number one basketball talk show for the UPRHS Alumni League. Move along when we get enough time to play And together, despite the weather, we'll see the sweet light of day